It's your first night on call in the trauma unit. You're a fifth year medical student, so they've put you in the green area. But the most exciting thing that's happened this evening is a grazed knee. And then, this patient walks in. Hi, Simpire. This is Dr. Simpire, future you and orthopedic surgeon extraordinaire. An open fracture is an orthopedic emergency, but don't panic. I'll walk you through the management of this patient. An open fracture has an open wound or breach of skin so that the fracture is in direct communication with the outside world. The bone and skin are likely to be contaminated and are therefore at high risk of infection. Do not be deceived by small wounds. These can be associated with a large amount of soft tissue damage or foreign material which has been brought back into the wound. The first thing to remember is life before limb. ATLS principles still apply and it is important to do your ABCs and manage the patient accordingly. Now that you have stabilized the patient, you can move on to managing the fracture. This will form part of your secondary survey and emergency room management. You will need to control any bleeding by applying direct pressure and grade the injury using the Gustula Anderson classification. The Gustula Anderson classification uses the amount of energy, extent of the wound, and the contamination to grade the severity of the fracture into three types. This will determine which antibiotics the patient will be given and the amount of saline which will be used for irrigation of the wound. It is best to give early antibiotics and analgesia. Administer tetanus toxoid and analgesia. Gustula type 1 and 2 fractures with minimal contamination can be given kefazolin IV for 48 hours. Type 3 fractures, which are highly contaminated, are given toxicillin, gentamicin and metronidazole IV for 5 days. Augmentin may be used as an alternative. You should then do a neurovascular assessment and exclude compartment syndrome. Remove any gross debris and contaminants from the wound and irrigate with copious amounts of saline. Cover the wound with a sterile dressing, which should not be removed until the patient is taken to theater. Reduce the fracture using gentle traction and splint the injured limb. Definitive management will be surgery, and it is important that you obtain consent, order the necessary x-rays, and keep the patient nil per os. You will then consult an orthopedic surgeon. Well done, Grasshopper. You have safely managed and referred your patient. In theatre, we will wash out the wound with three litres of saline for each successive gastulotype. The wound will be divided with excision of all dead tissue and devitalized tissue. The wound is not sutured at the first debridement, and an external fixator is used to maintain the reduction and the wound is dressed. This allows for full and easy access to the soft tissues for wound care. The patient is taken back to theatre in 48 to 72 hours to change the dressing and assess the need for further debridement. If the wound is clean, it is closed by suture, skin graft or flap. 